What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Knife Life PDC. Got something new to kind of share with you, real quick. Um, it won't be a long video, but I've been trying to branch out from knives to kind of show some uh, other stuff, I guess, from the EDC life. Um, flashlights is a big one for everybody, and I've been trying to check out some different brands and stuff like that. Um, and this was one I saw on Urban EDC Supply. Um, it was on one of their sales, I think, recent. It was like a recent, like last week or something. Uh, it was only like 38 bucks, and I just figured I'd give it a try. As you can see, it is the Raylite Lan Apple with the aluminum blue. Um, yeah, like I said, it was 38 bucks plus good shipping and handling, all that type of stuff. Um, it came with a sticker. I'm not exactly sure what this means. I know this is, I believe, a ch I believe they're from China. Ray Raylite is, yeah, Raylite. I believe they're from China. I'm pretty sure. Um, looks like you come with a couple gaskets real quick. Um, they had a few different colors. They had the blue, I think a black, or maybe it was gray. It may have been gray. And then a red one. Um, I like to buy a lot of black stuff, so, or gray stuff, so I figured I'd switch it up, you know, get something blue. But um, as you can see, actually, that is pretty dark on close. Almost like they made together. Perfect. Perfect pair. But um, like I said, I wanted to switch it out, you know, get a little bit of color in my life. Um, you know, hold on, probably got. There, there you go, it's right there. So, obviously, that's where your gasket goes right there. There's a little thing to keep the light from working. Um, there's your little gasket right there to keep it probably from what, like water didn't get down in there, stuff like that, and probably make sure you know, snap, uh, closes a little smoother, obviously. Um, it is supposed to be rechargeable. Um, I guess you have to have like an actual charger for it, like a because no, normally. This is my first time dealing with Ray Light, so this is new to me, like everything. Oh, Light, I know a little bit about, and like some other brands I've been checking out. But usually they come with like a little slot right there, like a USB uh, C, I think, or something like that, right into the battery, and you just charge it that way. But I guess you have to actually have like a double A charger or something like that for this. But I know it also says you take, obviously, double A batteries, so that's probably what that is. I'll probably have to go buy a charger for this, or just buy extra double A batteries. So I'm not going to want to throw that away if I can just recharge it. Just so that's, I guess, that's one draw so far. I don't like that I have to go buy a charger. Olight and uh, my Ace, uh, Ace Beam, they both came with chargers because the batteries are actually, like, right there, accessible. Like, you just charge it right there. Like, you don't have to. It's not hard, you know? So I, I don't really like that. That's kind of a draw. I don't know if they're all like that. Um, I think they had a, what is it, like a pineapple light? I can't remember what it was. It's also on um, the uh, same website, Urban EDC Supply. Um, I was wanting to check that out too, except they didn't have an aluminum brand or aluminum body, which I read or someone, I think it was left to EDC was talking about, it, he was reviewing it. He said the titanium bodies got kind of hot though. And I didn't like that. So I was waiting, looking for an aluminum body, but I, you know, I'll just wait. I'll figure that out later. I'll do some more research and looking and everything, but this is an aluminum body, which I do like cause it's obviously not going to get as hot as fast. Um, it said it was really durable for what it was and it does have four settings like there's your I think it said moonlight and there's your second third fourth well that was a little weird well, okay there's moonlight there's bright there's bright or bright there's like real real bright so there you go there's all the settings um so it's pretty bright it's 400 lumen or 470 lumens uh, on like the fourth setting what I did like that it was flush, the battery, or not the battery, the button. Um, it is kind of a, you do have to have your finger right there to get it to come on. I don't know. You know, I don't know if I like it better with the button out. Like, I guess it has its drawbacks. Like, this is the, the Olight um, i5R. I kind of like that the button sticks out a little bit. Because it's, it's super easy to get, you know, you're not fighting with it or anything like that. But after watching um, Surviving the Daily, it's another channel. Um, he actually said that it makes sense also to have the the button like this flush, so you can do this. Obviously, stand it up on end. Um, sometimes you want you're working and everything like that, and you need a little light coming up, and you just work and whatever. You know that makes sense. With the O lights, you can't do that. Like, see, obviously, it's you got a button right there, it ain't gonna work. Obviously, with the clip though, for the O light, like you can um, put it on your hat too. So if you have a hat real easy right um this obviously you cannot but it does have a nice little pocket clip though i don't know if this comes off at all i don't know how that necessarily works 
I'll have to read up on that and check that out. I don't know if that comes off. Anyway, so. But I, I kind of like that. It made sense what he was saying. Like, it's kind of cool to have that, to be able to do that. I did like the ace beam. Because he, he showed this one right here. And if you look, all you have to do is, it's like, a, I guess, a bolt action. And you just ride it forward. And then you can do the same thing. So that's what I thought was pretty cool. That's something kind of cool to check out. Like, I, I've been learning more about flashlights from other people and everything. And kind of just comparing them to, like, all of them and everything. And I thought that was pretty cool. So that's kind of cool. Especially if you can't have a pocket clip that goes on your hat or something like that. Because this one does, too. This has the, the, the hat clip, too. So I guess, like, they all have their drawbacks, I guess. Oh, it just depends on what you like. I'm sure everybody has their perfect flashlight out there. But, um... I don't know, like it, I like, I like honestly all three of these. Like there's obviously O light, that's the ace beam right there. And then ray light, like um, I think this one is like 500 some lumens, I'm, I'm not sure. But um, I really like the color, I really like the design. I think it's really like, it, it's a good looking flashlight. Um, I might check out more of their flights too. I do definitely want to check out a couple more of the ace, not, uh, yeah, ace beams. Um, I can't remember which one I want to check out, but I am going to check out another one of theirs. They're just getting a little more pricier. The better they are, I guess, the more expensive ones. So I want to check out those. But for Raylight, like, I really like this. It's not bad. I like the color. I like the way it looks. I do wish the pocket clip is nice. I do like it. It would be cool to have a, for a smaller flashlight, it would be cool to have the pocket clip that goes on your hat also. But um, I don't think this is necessarily a big deal. Obviously, I'm still hitting it pretty easy, but it's got its, I don't know. It's all in your opinions, I guess. If you want that little thing right there so you can stick it on end, or if you want that little extra button right there to make sure you nail it and everything like that and you don't have anything to worry about. But um, it's definitely a flashlight I'm still going to use. I really do like it. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I've, maybe I'm probably going to have to do a video on all three of these, just kind of do the, the comparison of all of them and everything and just kind of, I don't know, try to pick one I like the best. I don't know which one that would be because that would be really hard to do. But um. Yeah, if you guys have any opinions on it, or if you guys have any other flashlights, I would should probably check out. I'm going to try to look more online and everything and find some more out. But if you have any suggestions, or if you like the video, you know, leave it down in the comment section. Or just give it a thumbs up, the video, and um, have a great, uh, great day.